welcome to the channel if you'd like to help us out like subscribe leave a comment and i'll see you after the video Today I'm going to show you how to get rid of unwanted pests that have taken over your living space in your attic or crawl space. The method that I'm going to use, I've been helping out quite a few of my customers over the last 20 years. Um, if you watch any of my videos, you'll know that I do, uh, I'm do. i a gutter guy in my area. And for the most, whenever I show up to a customer's house and I see that there is evidence of uh, birds or, or squirrels trying to enter the home uh, other than just simply bedding inside the gutter which in which case I normally just get rid of but if it looks like they're starting to chew into the wood to get into the house I'll let the customer know and to get prepared so that the next time that I'm there they would have certain materials uh, the process that I'm going to show you is really inexpensive we're talking about four dollars four maybe five dollars for this um, a little piece of aluminum and um, it's really inexpensive and it's something that the homeowner would be able to do from the inside of the house if they have access to the uh, subflooring. If you go around the perimeter of your crawl space or, or attic and you notice there's sunlight coming in, maybe you might notice some straw leaves that the uh, birds or, or squirrels might be batting themselves in at night. Um, that would be the perfect place to do what I'm gonna show you and that you can do that from the inside. Let's get to, let's get to this and uh, let's start saving some money. All right, so I don't know if I mentioned to you, but this is my house. And for the first time in 20 years since I've lived here, I've never had to deal with having to get rid of birds or squirrels out of my own gutters. But I guess it's the first time for everything, right? Uh, let's take a look to see. I want to show you where the opening is, where these birds were getting in. And then, go on ahead and get this thing plugged up. So if we can see right inside right there. I don't know if you can see that, but there is a pretty large opening where the squirrels eat right through the fascia wood, right through the sub flooring and started to get into the uh, living space and I'm going to show you right now how to close that up but what I did was as I the weather was decently uh, you know dry and I put these mothballs right in there if you notice they are in a bag so that it's easy for me to be able to take out of there after everything's done and uh, now I can get rid of these mothballs and we're going to start closing this thing up. So, let's see if we can get to this now. We need to get this all together so we can see the work that I'm doing. Alright, now, first thing that I'm going to do is take the aluminum, place it right up against that opening. Sorry about knocking you guys around. that opening and what I want to do is close it all up so that the birds can no longer get in there and this is how simple it would be for a gutter guy also to be able to do something like this he's from the he's doing it off the ladder like myself it'll take him a matter of moments and I'll show you just how long it takes so there shouldn't be any kind of a cost involved or extra cost involved in getting and something like this sealed up. So what I've done is I bent this a little bit, a little bit like that. Curve that the wood has underneath to prevent squirrels from being able to get in there. Let's see if this works.
All right, so what I've done is I put that piece of aluminum up in there. And uh, so far I've only got two screws in it. it. Took me all about 10 seconds. And now I'm gonna finish up by putting the rest of the two screws on the bottom. One down there and one down there. And this hole is plugged up. No squirrels can get back into the house. I've reclaimed my living space and it's that simple. And you would have to ask somebody to, you know, if you don't do this type of work, you would have to ask somebody that does this, you know, works on ladders to just simply go up there, put up a couple of screws inside the gutter, or inside the, uh, yeah, inside the gutter and cover up that hole so the animals cannot get back into your house. Now what I'm gonna do is get these two screws in there to secure it and finish this job up. Put the screen gutter guard back up, and that's that. Okay. Now we can go on ahead and put the screen gutter guard back on there. All right, so the screen gutter guard's back up there now, and this job is done. Now, I don't expect you to grab your 32-foot ladder and climb up to the second story of your house and start doing any of these things. As I mentioned, this is something that you can do from the inside. You can drop those mothballs, and these are the mothballs that I was speaking of. You can drop these in that area, wherever you see the sunlight or the leaves or, or straw, whatever the case may be, where the... Uh, squirrel or birds are bedding themselves at night and um, what I did was I, I looked at the weather I saw that I was gonna have a couple of nice days of no rain and I just placed those mothballs right inside that gutter T every now and then I would take a look to see what kind of activity was going on up there uh, from the outside you can see where the animals are either you know surrounding the area during the day sitting around on top of the gutter uh, you can see the squirrels coming in and out or whatever when you don't see any of that activity happening and at night if you don't hear them scurrying around above your head as you're trying to sleep you've got a pretty good idea that these things are gone and the mothballs work very well that's the time that you call your gutter guy you get him in there give him that piece of aluminum uh, like i showed you and uh, ask him to put that up there now i myself don't do not charge my customers if i'm already at the job and they asked me to go on ahead and put that piece of aluminum up there after the birds and the squirrels are all gone. Um, it's up to the gutter guy that you guys have. But if I did have to go there um, because you called me for that purpose, then there would be a service charge. Now let's talk about what it would cost if you were to call a professional an exterminator to get rid of the squirrels or birds up in your attic. And you can see where the savings really come in. So if you do a quick search on Google and you type in average cost of wildlife removal, a site Home Advisors will pop up. You go to that and you see this chart right here. Squirrels removal is 200 to 600, raccoons 400 to 600, and birds 100 to 300. Now to me it just seems logical that why give that money away if it only costs about $4? For the box of mothballs uh you can probably get a piece of aluminum uh anywhere i don't know you can probably go to the hardware store buy a little piece of aluminum I'm sure somebody over there will cut a few one of the local hardware stores and then charge you a minimal fee a minimal price for that 
maybe you might have to buy a little roll of uh, of aluminum. Either way, it's not going to cost you anywhere the hundreds that it would cost you to hire an exterminator. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe, give a comment, good or bad, we'll get back to you. And uh, we'll see you on the next video. Thank you. Hope you enjoyed that video. Like, subscribe, leave a comment. Click one of the videos that are hovering and click that subscribe button. Appreciate it.